everyone. Thank you for joining the Tidewater Pro Wash podcast. My name is Mike. I am the host of this podcast. I'm also the owner of Tidewater Pro Wash. And I want to talk to you today about something that's really important. And it's important because, for one, um, proper knowledge of this is going to help you maintain your home and your curb appeal. But also, this is going to potentially save you thousands of dollars. So uh, stay put, pour yourself a cup of coffee, and let's get into it. So what am I going to talk about that could save you thousands of dollars? This is not a marketing gimmick. This is, you know, this is something that I have experienced as a homeowner, um, certainly as a business owner. And uh, it is regarding roof cleaning versus having your roof replaced. So how do you know as a homeowner if you need to have your roof replaced versus could you just have your roof cleaned? And so specifically regarding the cleaning portion, I want to talk about that um, a little bit first. So maybe maybe you've been in your home for you know five years or more. Uh, maybe you just bought a house and on the asphalt shingles or the slate, um, even the metal roofs, but especially the asphalt shingles, you're going to notice um, some dark streaks on on the roof. Have you have you seen that before? These dark streaks on the shingles that kind of pour down the roof. Uh, they look horrible. And have, I don't know if you've ever seen that in your house or you know, like a neighbor's house, but but those are an incredible eyesore and, and they scare people because you look at them and you think, oh my goodness, I need to have my roof replaced. And then, you know, maybe your roof is only 10 years old and it's, you're thinking to yourself, why should I have my roof replaced? You know, it's a 25, it's a 30 year roof. Um, you know, I'm, it's, it's young. It's still got lots of life left in it. Why does it look so horrible? Well, I want to talk about what that is and how you can uh, clean that because there are a lot of roofing companies that are, you know, they're educated, they're honest, and they're going to be straight up with you and kind of tell you what's going on. But a lot of roofing companies or some, I should say, I've seen it. I've seen it firsthand. Um, there are some roofing companies that will, you know, approach you and say, Hey, I noticed your roof. It looks like you need to have your roof replaced. And they'll encourage you to have your roof replaced, even though it's structurally fine. It just looks bad because of these dark streaks. Um, you might have a little moss. You might have a little lichen uh, on the shingles as well. But predominantly, you're going to notice these dark streaks. So what those are, those dark streaks, um, it's, it's a form of bacteria. It's called Gloiocapsa magma. And it's a a bacteria and what it what it does this is something that feeds on your shingles it's actually eating your shingles so it is an eyesore but it's also going to hasten the degradation of the shingles on your roof and the reason that this is happening uh it all started kind of back in the 70s i believe when um some regulations came into place that changed how uh, these shingles were made and for environment some, some of it was environmental purposes they changed how like the recipe of the shingles they changed actually how they were made and one of the ways that they changed it were through like how they what they were putting in the fillers um, of these shingles so the fillers that kind of bind there's oils there's all kinds of things in these shingles and they changed some of those uh, for some environmental purposes, and then also for cost purposes as well. And one of the fillers that they, you know, that is the primary filler now in these shingles is limestone. And this Gloiocapsa magma loves to feed on that limestone. And so it's actually feeding on the roof, and it's, um, it, 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 it it's going to continue to grow. It often, you're going to notice it starts on the north side. The north side, you know, of your house, the roof, that's going to be the side of, of your house and roof that gets dirtiest, uh, the quickest. 
And the reason is it's getting the least amount of sun. So whatever moisture is on there is going to, you know, take longer to dry out. It's going to stay wet. Um, it's shaded more. So, so these organic materials like, like this bacteria, it's, it's prime for them to grow and feed and really have a good life. And so, um, this filler, this limestone filler, they removed oils, it, it, all kinds of stuff. So this Gloeocapsa magma feeds off those fillers and it leads to this, these unsightly streaks um, that you see on the roof. Now, like I said, this Gloeocapsa magma is actually feeding off uh, the moisture. It's feeding off the limestone and some other things. So you, it's definitely something you want to address. The good news is you can address it. And you can address it very affordably, especially when compared to the cost of a new roof. So I think in North Carolina right now, the average cost of a new roof is about $8,000. So depending on the size of your house, of course, what kind of materials you're going to use, you're going to spend anywhere from, you know, $3,500 up to eleven dollars or $12,000. And that's just for, you know, fairly normal size house. Um, the good news is when it comes to shingles that are still structurally sound, but are just dirty, you can absolutely have them cleaned safely, effectively, and like I said, for a fraction of the cost. Where a new roof might cost you $8,000, it might only cost you anywhere from four to $800 to clean the roof. Um... So the way, one of the things though, when it comes to cleaning a roof, how do you do it? So what you absolutely don't want to do is use a pressure washer of any kind. You don't want any kind of medium or high pressure. Um, this is not something you want to force off. This is something you need to eradicate. So it's the difference of, you know, like think of a weed. Like if you were to go out and just chop off the top part of a weed in your yard. Have you taken care of the weed? No, you've only made it so you can't see it. The weed is still there. The root is there and it's just going to grow back and it's probably going to go grow back faster and there's going to be more of it because in a lot of cases you've opened up spores, you've sent out seeds, different things that create more of the thing you're trying to destroy. So the same with like a roof cleaning or if you're washing your house, you don't want to just pressure wash the the algae off of it. You want to actually eradicate that organic substance. And so with roof cleaning, you're going to use a no pressure system. This is really important because if you use a pressure washer on your roof, you're going to void your warranty. Like I said earlier in the podcast, these, this stuff will start to grow within just a few years in many cases. And so you might have a warranty. And if you have a warranty on your roof and you come to clean it with a pressure washer, that warranty is now voided. Also, if you let your roof stay dirty for too long, it's possible that your warranty may be voided. So proper ongoing maintenance in the proper way is important to keep your warranty intact. Um, also with insurance companies, if an insurance company finds that your roof is really dirty um, they might raise your rates. They might even cancel the coverage. It's happened. I'll link. There's a video um, on YouTube that you can watch where there's a news report about that. So it's really important to, to up to the maintenance of your home, but also the maintenance of your warranty, which is really important. That's one of the things that you buy. It's part of the value that you're buying when you're buying a new roof system. So you're going to use um, the way Tidewater Pro Wash washes roofs. We use a no pressure uh, system. And what that means is it's about 60 PSI. So that's less than a garden hose. And we're going to apply a chemical application to the shingles and we're going to let it sit there and it's going to kill or eradicate, uh, all that organic material, all that gloeocapsa magma, any moss, lichen, anything else, mildew, algae, it's all going to be eradicated and safely because we're not using any pressure. We're going to let it sit there. It's going to kill everything. And you're going to notice same day results. And then when it rains, it's going to rinse off. It's going to work, you know, again. 
and it's going to rinse really cleanly. And uh, if you want, you can check out pictures of this process um, on our website at tidewaterprowash.com. And you can see before and after pictures of some of the roofs we've cleaned over the years. It's really dramatic and really remarkable. It's more of a transformation than a cleaning. It's really cool. Um, people are, it's a really exciting service because of the dramatic change. So let me just recap. Do not use a pressure washer. You'll damage the shingles. You'll remove granules. You will void your warranty. Don't use a pressure washer. If someone is going to clean your roof, make sure they're doing a soft wash process and using the right materials. Um, now, how do you, so that's, I was talking about like, that's how to clean your roof. That's how to know if your roof needs to be cleaned. But what, how do you know if it needs to be replaced? First of all, let me say, I am not a roofer. So if you feel like you need to ask these questions, you may want to consult a roofing company, but just keep in mind that the things that I've said, you know, it may be depending on the integrity of the company that you're speaking with. They may just try to push a roof on you when you don't need one. I also want to be very conscious of the fact that there are soft wash companies and pressure washing companies that will do that with cleaning as well. You may need a new roof and a cleaning company may just say, oh no, just have it cleaned. Well, that's not ethical either. So Tidewater Pro Wash, we, you know, we're going to tell you if you need a new roof. I have turned down over the years probably a dozen roof cleaning jobs because the roof, in my opinion, was too far gone. And one of the ways that I can tell is the same way you can tell. Um, you can Google search this. It's not like a, a secret. This is just how, here are some reasons, here are some ways you can tell if your roof needs to be um, replaced. Um, one is consider the age. So like I said, most shingles are 20 or 30 year shingles. There's even 50 year shingles out there. Um, if your roof is 10 years old and it hasn't like had a lot of damage from hail or, you know, wind or things like that, you, you're probably going to be okay. It probably doesn't need to be replaced, but if it's 25 years old and you're noticing how you know, unsightly it looks and different things. Probably the age is going to be a big factor. So consider the age of the roof. Um, the next couple are really important. And this is something you can see from the ground. One, are your shingles kind of curling or cupping? So like if you look at your shingles, do you see where the edges are kind of curled up or the center of it is bubbled up and puffy? That's an example of curling or or cupping shingles. And that's an indicator you might need to, to get, um, you know, a roof replaced. That means those shingles aren't in the best health. Um, granules from your shingles are missing. Those granules are really important. And over time, even just the rainwater will, will take them away. It takes a long time, but after 25 years, you'll start to see that. If your roof is dirty, you're going to see that really quickly. If people are walking on the roof all the time, you know, whatever, you're going to see granules moving. If someone uses a pressure washer, highly dangerous, highly, highly horrible to do to shingles, those granules are going to be missing. So if you see that granules are missing off your shingles, that is a big indicator that you probably need a new roof. Um, cracked shingles is a huge indicator. So we talked about curling, we talked about cupping, sh uh, granules being missing, but also cracked shingles. So like you've got a you've got a, a shingle, you know, the rectangle shingle there and you see cracks through it. That's not a good sign because that means water can penetrate through that and potentially even get into your home. Um, huge coverage of moss. Um, that takes a long time to develop. And so it might be that moss is an indicator that your roof is in pretty bad shape, but moss is also something that can be safely cleaned too. Um, so if your roof is in good shape, your roof is pretty young, um, and you've got moss, don't despair. It can be cleaned off safely. But look for those things. Consider the age of your shingle. Look for cupped or curling or cracked shingles. And look for extensive granule loss. Those are all really um, easy to spot, easy to consider sort of factors that will help you know if you need a roof replacement 
um, or if you could just have a roof cleaned. And ultimately, like I say, uh, consult with a professional, um, talk to a, and don't just talk to one, like talk to a couple, talk to a roof, um, company, a roof installation company, and then talk to a roof cleaning company and see what both folks are telling you. And just use your own common sense, use your own kind of troubleshooting with some of these tips that I've given you. Um, and you can determine whether or not you need a new roof or not, uh, or you can just have it cleaned. One other thing to think about, if you do have it cleaned, um, look for a company that, you know, is going to, like I said, do the soft washing, use the right chemicals, um, all these things so that you're not voiding your warranty. Um, there's, a um, another important thing you need to ask, you know, are there, are, is the company insured? Um, and that's a huge one because one of the things about like a pressure washing company is there's a really low barrier to entry. So it doesn't take much. Someone can get laid off their job or quit their job and go to Lowe's and get some equipment and come out and wash your house. You want someone that's got experience, someone that's got really good equipment, um, you know, someone that has training certifications, different things like that. So like at Tidewater Pro Wash, we're constantly, we're members of multiple nationwide uh, cleaning associations for our industry. We're constantly going through ongoing training. And we have, we have weekly trainings that we're part of for, for best practices and chemicals and things like that. So look for folks that are, you know, insured, look for folks that are, um, you know, part of industry associations, getting that ongoing training, certification, things like that. Also look for companies that are going to provide you with a warranty. And the reason I say that is you want a company that's prepared to put, you know, their money where their mouth is, so to speak. So I can tell you that this roof cleaning is, is going to do really well. But if I can tell you that and then also say, oh, and I'll give you a five-year warranty, uh, that's a pretty good indicator that I'm confident that my process is going to work. So to that point with Tidewater Pro Wash, we do offer a five-year no-grow uh, warranty. And, uh, you know, we can definitely talk to you about the specifics of that as well. So um, anyway, that's it. That's kind of some really good tips on how you can tell as a homeowner if you need a new roof or if you can just get your roof cleaned. Again, if your roof is kind of young, I mean, that's going to save you thousands of dollars to just have it cleaned and refreshed and looking great. Um, in the show notes of this episode, look for a link. I'll link to our page, um, our roof cleaning page, so that you can actually check out some before and after pictures. And I'm telling you, you're going to be amazed with the the results. It's it's instant. It's same day, and it's like you get a new roof. It's really it's really incredible. I love doing roof cleaning is one of my favorite services. And one of the reasons is it's just, it's so valuable to the homeowner because of how much money it can save you. But also it's such a stark transformation and I love it. I just love, it's such a satisfying job to do. So anyway, we would love to serve you. Um, if you would like to have a consultation about your roof clean cleaning needs, um, and if your roof is a good candidate for a cleaning, uh, give us a call, 910 Seven five six one three eight five. You can also visit our website at tidewaterprowash.com. And Tidewater is T-I-D-E-W-A-T-E-R, tidewaterprowash.com. At the top, you'll see like services. You can click that and then select roof cleaning to see uh, some of those pictures. And uh, we'd love to talk to you. And if, and if I see your house and it's, I don't feel like the roof is a good candidate for a roof cleaning um, I'm going to tell you that I would rather not get your, you know, roof cleaning job and refer you to a roof uh, installation company and make sure that you're getting what you need. I'm not in this for the quick buck. We're, we want to build relationships with our clients. We want to be a source of, um, you know, trust. We want to be someone you can trust and and get you know, good, solid information. And we want to, we want to partner with you for the long term. We're not just looking for a quick buck. We want to partner with you for life really. And, and be the folks that you turn to for your exterior cleaning needs. And I know as a homeowner, 
and um, you know, as someone who has owned homes and um, has talked to hundreds of homeowners, I know that the way to do that is through integrity and to, um, you know, always be upfront with with my clients. So anyway, it, um, if we can be of service, let us know. Um, if if you need a referral to a good roof installation company, give me a call. I'll be happy to you know tell you some some folks that I like in the area. Um, I don't get any kickbacks or anything like this. This is just, I can kind of give you some tips even in that regard. So anyway, thank you so much for listening. If you haven't yet, um, subscribe to the podcast, share it with a friend. If someone you know is has a dirty roof, um, share this episode with them. And I'm going to start this, we'll start po- posting um, every week and um, really looking forward to doing this podcast. Uh, we'll also interview some people from time to time, other vendors, other um, trades folks, um, people that I like that I want to share with you in terms of um, other home service companies. So anyway, thanks so much for your time, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Talk to you later. This is uh, Mike with Tidewater Pro Wash. Have a great day.